I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thank you for logging on. Today, we continue our journey through the current Grand Seiko collection with the Grand Seiko Heritage Collection Spring Drive Automatic USA Limited Edition SBGA 387 in stainless steel. This is a 2018 limited series of 558 to celebrate the United States market and the establishment of Grand Seiko of America as the first international independent Grand Seiko subsidiary. Now the timepiece is beautifully executed in a very wearable size. 40 millimeters is neither undersized nor oversized, but right sized. And you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist how easily it sits. The 44 GS style polyhedron case is constrained at 46 millimeters across the wrist, but even when you include the solid end links of the bracelet on both sides, you're still looking at a span of just under 50 millimeters across the wrist, 49.8. So I can recommend this watch as a good fit, proportional and secure for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. The spacing between the lugs is 19 millimeters, and the watch sits low on the wrist at only 12.8 with a stepped and sloped case flank. You can fit this one easily underneath a dress sleeve, not just the jacket, but the shirt beneath. You can see that the lugs are perforated for those who own strap tools to jump in and do a little bit of mixing and matching, but consider the bracelet your best bet for this watch, as it is designed and finished by the same people who make the timepiece. The flanks are of polish, the tops are principally of satin with polished intermediates, and you can see it uses a staggered three-link design. All of the removable links are sized with screws, and you'll appreciate the presence of one, two half links flanking the clasp for precise sizing, and the clasp itself nicely executed. Grand Seiko didn't opt for a secure but cheap clamshell, nor did it take risks with a cheap and friction fit clasp design. This one is locked in place by twin triggers. You must press both to open this thin and secure clasp. It's both low in profile and robust in construction. Note the logo, Grand Seiko relieved along with a relieved and polished border with a blasted center flanked by a satin clasp top. Impressive attention to detail, and you can see that attention continues in the clasp body, which is curved to trace the underside of the arc of your wrist. I mentioned 44 GS case, and that's exactly what I'm describing. When you look in particular at those multifaceted lug ends, you realize the heritage of the 1967 44 GS remains with us in this distinctively Grand Seiko case form. If you want a watch that represents Max Grand Seiko, you want something like this with the 44 GS case, the spring drive automatic, a limited series, and of course, the Kirazuri dial, which we will discuss in a moment. But if you want maximum Grand Seiko factor, something that is redolent of brand character, you want this. You'll also note another feature and facet, quite literally in the facets of the case. All of the polish is distortion-free, optically smooth, mirror-like, and what the Swiss would call black polish. Grand Seiko calls this their Zeratsu hand finishing method, and it's quite literally that, as the artisan who performs the polishing does so with hand pressure, eye-hand coordination, and experience, directly pressing the surfaces to be milled against a spinning tin plate. It is excruciatingly slow, difficult, and fraught with mistakes. If you were less talented, experienced, and steeped in the technique than those people who do it constantly. They are unerringly precise, creating this form and that optically smooth finish. Go ahead, try to find a ripple. You're gonna be looking all day. The dial itself is just as distinctive, but quite different in form. Now this is known as Kirazuri. It's named after a type of Japanese painting that translates loosely to shiny painting. And what it is, in fact, is a series of rusticated forms, flares, scratches, scuffs, and embossed patterns that are very different from example to example. So no two of these are exactly the same. It's a combination of dial texture and the galvanizing and varnish that follows. And it is quite nuanced and complex. From certain angles, it appears almost cobalt blue, whereas from other angles, it appears almost white silver. You can see that it features a blued steel, lancet style counterweighted second sand at center. All of the indices, the frame for the date, the features of the power reserve, as well as the Dauphine style hands at center, immaculately hand finished, as dial furniture and hands represent one of the true strengths of the fully integrated Grand Seiko manufacturer. This is not just equivalent to Swiss watches at the same price, it is superior to them, and it rivals the level of attention to detail and hand craftsmanship you will find on Swiss and German watches costing three or even four times as much. For me, that's part of the appeal of the watch. Now, spring drive, we need to discuss this. Note that seconds hand is sweeping with a continuously smooth unidirectional motion. There's no start-stop, there's no stagger, and that's because this movement 
9R66. It is a spring drive caliber and it's unidirectional. There is no battery, there is no capacitor, and there are no motors. The only motion you see is ushered by the energy of a spring, automatically wound with a three-day power reserve. So the hands are driven by the spring, there are no batteries, there are no capacitors. So how does this watch keep quartz time while retaining a mechanical drivetrain? Well, it does so via this unidirectional governing wheel, which is linked to the hands. It turns, it creates an induced electrical current that wakes up a quartz oscillator. The watch is thus accurate to plus or minus 15 seconds per month. Remember, a Swiss chronometer a mechanical chronometer is minus four plus six seconds per day. That unidirectional wheel speeds up as the electromagnetic back force reduces when the watch is running slow, and when it runs too quickly, the electromagnetic force, the feedback loop, increases to slow it down. So it automatically governs itself by creating an induced electrical current in conjunction with that quartz oscillator. It is a 30 joule watchmaker assembled, watchmaker regulated, and when the time comes, watchmaker serviced lifetime movement that also includes stop seconds, a quick set date, and a power reserve indicator. The screw down crown, which has a wonderful nestled shear guard, you can see it's partially countersunk in the case blank, enables the watch to boast a 100 meter water resistance. So though this watch could easily be your dress timepiece, it could also be your sports watch. A polyvalent limited series of 558 pieces for the United States. You can see this and the entire Grand Seiko collection on our website, govbergwatches.com, and learn more.